Hey there, this is Matt Williams and I'm the DevOps Evangelist here at Datadog. Every now and then our sales team gets a question from a potential customer asking how long is it going to take to get up and running with Datadog, you know, start getting data in from all their applications. And the answer really is just a few minutes. And to help prove that point, I'm going to create a brand new trial account and then I'm going to install the Datadog agent and start getting my first metrics. I'm going to add HipChat integration and PagerDuty integration to start communicating with my colleagues. And then I'm going to add AWS and RDS integration and Elasticsearch integration. And I'm going to try to do this in about 10, maybe 11 minutes. To show you how long it's taking, I've got this little stopwatch up here. And the stopwatch is just, I'm going to start it right now, well, in a few seconds, and I'm not going to stop it until we're done. Right below that, I've got a little kind of a keyboard shortcut tool called Keyboard Maestro. This is just going to make it so that you don't have to watch me type anything. It's just going to fill in automatically. Below that, I've got my to-do list of things I need to do. And over on the left side, I've got the browser. Uh, this is where we're going to do most of our work. Although right behind it, I've got a terminal window where I'm going to SSH into my EC2 instance to install the agent. Okay, so ready to get started? Let's go for it. First step is creating a free trial. It's a 14 day free trial. You can do anything you want with our application. Uh, and I'm gonna sign up. And uh, we usually ask you for some additional information, makes it a little easier when you set up your account first time, but I'm gonna skip that. And the first real step is installing my agent. So I'm gonna go to the Amazon Linux uh, tool or, or section and select my command line. Um, there we go. And I'm gonna go over to my EC2 instance. And I'll paste that command line in there. And what it's doing right now, it's going up to Datadog, grabbing the latest um, version of the agent and um, getting it installed on my machine. Once it does that, it's going to start trying to collect those first metrics. And when it's done, it'll let me know that it's completed, uh, you know, the, at least the initial metrics and sent them up, sent them up to Datadog and Datadog has, uh, responded saying, yep, got your metrics. So it looks like that's already happened. We're about a minute 16 in and we're already collecting data. So I'll click on finish. And here we are. I can see that my agent has started. Looks like it started about 30 seconds ago. And the first thing I want to do is set up my integration with HipChat. So I go to integrations, and these are all the integrations that we offer, but the one I care about right now is HipChat. So I go into the configuration, and for HipChat, all I need to do is enter in an authorization token. So I'm going to type that in. And notice that I've also specified a room name. So if I go over to my HipChat window, you can see that I'm in the room Quick Demo. Uh, and so that's the room name I've chosen here, and I'm going to click Install Integration. Okay, so that's all set. I can close this. And uh, let's see, I'm going to go back to my Events window. And I'm going to add a comment to this uh, particular event. That's going to be this one. This is the first test message for HipChat Quick Demo. I'll post that. And it looks like I've already got a message on HipChat. Let's go over to my HipChat window. And I can see that I've just received my first message right now at 146. Cool. So now let's go over and set up PagerDuty. I'm going to scroll down to the P's, PagerDuty and set up the configuration there. Well, here it's a little bit different. I have to authorize my authorize Datadog to get access to my PagerDuty account by logging into PagerDuty. So I'll click the little button and click on PagerDuty authentication. I'll authorize it. I'm going to create a service called Datadog and finish that integration. Okay. Now um, you can see that it's set up my service as Datadog and the service key. And I also want to retrieve my incidents from PagerDuty into Datadog. So I'm going to type in that authentication, uh, you know, username and password again, and update that configuration. 
So now PagerDuty is available to me. So I'm going to do the exact same thing I just did. I'm going to send a comment or add a comment to my Datadog agent started, but with my PagerDuty message. And really, just to, to, to send it to PagerDuty, all I have to do is add the at PagerDuty at the end. Click on post. And within a few seconds, well, maybe th up to 30 seconds, I'm going to get a text message on my phone, which is sitting right next to me. And I should see it on my computer as well. Okay, so I'd say that's done as well. Oh, I forgot to do all this stuff. I'm gonna, I've done that, done that, done that, done that, and I've done that. So now let's set up my AWS integration. So let's see, I'm gonna scroll up to integrations and set up AWS. Go to configuration and the access key is that. Click on add and it's added my access key and update the configuration. And it looks like I'm good to go with Amazon Web Services. Now, I also have RDS going, RDS and EC2. I don't actually have to do anything with that. It's just gonna, they're gonna show up automatically. We'll see that in a second. Let me go to my infrastructure view. And here I can see that uh, I've added my Elasticsearch uh, instance, that was the instance I SSH'd into. And if I refresh this, I should pretty soon, oh, looks like I've, it realizes it's part of my AWS uh, account. So it shows that information. And pretty soon I'm gonna see other machines show up. Uh, so this is another instance in my um, uh, EC2 or in my Amazon account. And as I refresh, I'm gonna see more of those machines show up. So it's discovering more and more of those uh, boxes that are available to me. That's pretty cool. Okay, uh, looks like it knows that uh, Quick Test RDS is a RDS instance, and I can see that uh, show up there. Um, now it looks like the, the next step for me to take care of is Elasticsearch. So let's go ahead and uh, install that. So integrations, elastic search, there it is. And the configuration here is that I have to go in and edit a elastic.yaml file. So I'll go back to my terminal window, um, go to slash Etsy slash um, data agent and uh, go into the configuration uh, directory. And here are a bunch of sample configurations. So I'll just do a sudo um, cp uh, elastic to elastic.yaml. And then um, I'll edit that file. All I have to really do is get rid of that little comment uh, because my Elasticsearch is responding on localhost port 9200. And um, I'll write and quit. And then sudo um, uh, slash etsy slash init.d slash um, datadog. And then I want to restart it. Okay, I'll install that integration. And now that integration is installed as well. And I'm less than eight minutes. So really I've done everything I need to do to uh, get this installed and start collecting data. So I'm gonna stop my stopwatch right now. I'm at seven minutes 50. And uh, all I'm gonna do now is just go to my infrastructure tab. Um, Whoops, I closed it by mistake. So let's open that back up. And now you can see that my Elasticsearch um, machine has the Elasticsearch data coming in. So I can click on that and I can see, start to see a little bit of information about Elasticsearch, um, as well as my fact that it's running the JVM and system data. Uh, system data has been 
uh, collecting for a little bit longer. So it's got uh, more data. AWS has a little bit more data as well. And as I spend a little bit more time waiting or as I spend a little bit more time watching this, I'll see more Elasticsearch uh, metrics coming in as well. So that was a quick overview of how to get started with Datadog and how to start collecting data from uh, all the different applications that are installed in your environment. Um, as you can see, it took less than eight minutes to get, uh, what was our list again? Um, to get Elasticsearch, RDS, AWS, PagerDuty, HipChat, and the Datadog agent and set up your uh, trial account. I did all of that in less than eight minutes. That is pretty cool. So thanks so much for watching. My name again is Matt Williams and you can reach me on Twitter at Technovangelist. You can also contact the company on Twitter at uh, Datadog HQ or you can visit our website. It's datadoghq.com. So thanks so much for watching and goodbye.